So coming towards the end of this series on alkenes and the last stage is looking at polymerization. So uh, there's an alkene and I've written out three identical uh, alkenes next door to each other. Uh, it's a chloroethane. There's a chlorine attached here, but otherwise it's hydrogens. And under appropriate conditions, by which I mean a particular temperature, pressure and catalyst, then we can get uh, alkenes uh, to polymerize. And if we have a look at the similarity between this top line and this bottom line, then we've actually got all the same type and number of atoms. It's as though these six atoms there are there, and then these are the middle six, and those are those six. And uh, what's happened is that the double bonds have broken, and there's now bonds between one of the alkenes and its neighbour, and then the same going along the chain. And I haven't completed the... Uh, the bonds on the end here and that's because this would keep on going and it could go keep on going for several hundred uh, carbon atoms so you could end up with a very very long chain and what you've ended up with is, is a polymer because you've got lots of repeating units lots of these repeating units uh, and it's uh, it's actually an alkane it's a, a chloroalkane but it's lost its double bond so it has all the properties of, of an alkane which actually means it's generally less reactive and uh, these, this would be a plastic, this would be a polyvinyl chloride. Uh, now, if I had different groups on here, then it would be uh, a different type of plastic. If uh, that was an H, then this would be ethene, and so we'd make a polyethene or polythene. Uh, and you could do polypropene, uh, you could do polystyrene, and quite a few plastics just by changing what the, uh, the group here is. Now... This uh, chain here I've written out as six, but it does have a repeating unit, which is just the same as the uh, original molecule. And uh, we can write the uh, polymer with that repeating unit, put it in square brackets, put an N, where N is a number which might be several hundred. And that means we just repeat this unit several hundred times. Uh, note that to get this repeating unit, really all you do is you take the uh, alkene which you've got uh, and where you have the double bond, then you no longer have a double bond. Uh, it's making a bond out each side and that would be going on to another repeated unit and then whatever groups were on the uh, four corners here are still on the four corners. So I suppose more generally, if we have an alkene which has got A, B, C and D around it, once it's polymerized, we'll end up with a polymer which has got A, B, C and D around it at these points here. OK, and there is a final question. What is the product of polymerization of Propene. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed these. I uh, hope they made sense and uh, good luck.